If you're a Gmail user, you probably noticed that your inbox looks a lot different this week, but the change isn't just about convenience. Many of us use Gmail as our primary email account for personal or work, and more likely than not, it's gotten a little cluttered over the years, with deal promotions, personal emails, and random other communications all mixed in together with no built-in organization. Well, Google sought out to solve this clutter issue with its new Tabs feature, which we originally talked about a while back when it was first announced. And what this does is separate your emails into primary, which are mostly personal emails, social, stuff from Facebook, Twitter, Google+, RDO, and all that LinkedIn spam flooding your inbox, and promotions which are all those deals you've solicited over the years. You can also opt into two others, updates and forums. But you may also start seeing promotions that you didn't sign up for at any point in that tab. Recently, Gmail users started noticing that ads were sneaking into their inboxes via the Promotions tab. One user tweeted out a screenshot of what the new ads look like, and they're basically what you used to see along the top of your Gmail, just in your inbox, along with all the other promotional stuff you may have signed up for. They're yellowish color, unlike the rest of your emails, indicating that it's an ad. Still, they're rubbing some people the wrong way, some boldly predicting Gmail is about to jump the shark. And although the ads are served to you by Google, not by the advertisers themselves, they do function like a regular promotional email. If you like what you see, you can forward them to all your friends like you would an email, if you want to annoy the crap out of all your friends, that is. And the only way to disable the new inbox ads is by disabling the promotions tab altogether. You can do this by going into the settings, then configure inbox, then uncheck the promotions tab and hit save. But by doing so, you give up the entire tab, including the promotions you may want to see, like for a $149 Florida vacation. Hmm. Alternatively, you can give up the tabs entirely and go back to the old inbox by disabling all of the tabs. And on a separate Google note, it was reported by the deep field research firm that 60% of all internet end devices and users exchange traffic with Google servers during the course of an average day. 25% is directly from Google, which explains why they've recently invested $1.6 billion in building data centers over three months. Could we use a little more diversity in internet traffic? What do you think of the new Gmail ads? Leave us your thoughts in the comments below. For TFN, this is Annie. And don't forget to check out today's Soldiers Tech Battlefield, where Mark Watson answers questions sent in from viewers like you. Just click the link to the left.